Family meals are something that you need to create with minimal ingredients, maximum nutrition in the shortest amount of time. Am the I right? The trifecta. The tri yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Look, me personally don't have kids, but I've watched my mum and sisters struggle with it time and time again. Now my bow tie broccoli pasta is packed full of micronutrients, complex carbohydrates, and it's filling. Started off, good couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Don't worry about this, this is so good for you. Extra yeah. virgin olive oil, forget all the mist about it, you can cook with it, you can fry it, you can bake it. It's really healthy for you. And it's full of monounsaturated fat, which is the fat that you want. One clove of minced garlic, straight in. And I'm not gonna get much colour on this, just really quickly now, Emma. I think you've got some chickpeas here. Chickpeas are chickpeas. great, legumes. Fibre, protein. Yeah, plus a little treat with Oof. some nutmeg. I'm loving how you're using nutmeg in some of your savoury dishes. Yeah, I think nutmeg just adds that interest and to transfer mm. an Asian word into an Italian dish, the umami. umami. So, without getting any colour onto my garlic, put the nutmeg in, saute it off for 10 to 15 seconds just to take that raw flavour off. Now just in with the stock. Alright. Yeah. And what you can do is just work the spatula while you pour it in. It helps emulsify the extra virgin olive oil into the stock. Are you doing a one pot wonder? Yeah. Ah, I didn't know what you were doing. The trifecta. The trifecta. As I said, when you're cooking for the family or even with a bunch of friends, just one pot, less dishes. Great. Maximum amount of flavour. Now that all the stock's in, I'm going to bring it up to the boil before I add my pasta and then the dinner is ready in the time that it takes to cook these delicious bow ties. The stock now has come to the boil and really simply add the pasta and what you can do is just, can you start to cut the florets off the broccoli? Yeah, sure. Do you use the stalks? I do, but not for this recipe. Okay. So now, as you can see, a packet of bow ties straight into our stock base. I'm gonna add a tin of rinsed and drained chickpeas. Now lid on for 10 minutes, and in the final four minutes of cooking, I'm just gonna add the florets. Cook them till they're just tender, but not discoloured and brown. been 10 minutes and this is completely done. Now turn the heat off, just let it cool slightly and now it's time to season it up. I didn't want to season it at the start because the seasoning of the stock changes while it cooks. Yeah, it doesn't need much seasoning at all. So nice 40 grams of parmesan, freshly grated. I couldn't recommend more buying a big wedge of parmesan and just keeping it in the fridge yeah. for all these occasions. If you wanted to make this vegetarian friendly, just use veggie stock or water, that's absolutely fine. You're gonna get all this lovely flavor from the parmesan cheese, the chickpeas, and the nutmeg, garlic, it all adds up. I'm sold. You're sold? I'm sold, sold? I wanna taste it. I'm have a proper bowl of it, please. So there it is. As you can see, this is a meal for six people. Lots of complex carbohydrates, not a lot of fat in it, besides the good extra virgin olive oil. I'm not trying to reinvent the world with this pasta dish, but every now and then you need to be reminded how simple but delicious these weeknight dinners can be. A packet of pasta, a head of broccoli, and some spices, and you've got dinner in under 20 minutes. And it's truly, truly delicious. It's warming, got love in my tummy. It'll feed a hungry crowd easily. Yum, thank you.